Well, now Zlatan Ibrimovic can celebrate. To rush out of his goals, but there it is. It is Manchester United who have won the Europa, Europa League and now go into the Champions League next season. <laughs> Look to the skies and the heavens. Real disappointment for Ajax. It is Manchester United. Manchester United players. It's been an emotional two days for anyone connected with Manchester, but it's... Um, improvement. League. I think both, really. We uh, got support for the Champions League. It's the first time Manchester United have had their name etched onto that trophy. The second time Jose Mourinho will lift it. For you to then go and progress and go and improve as a footballer, you have to, you have to do it. Can you go too soon, though? You don't want to be seduced by the money. It's not about being seduced. I, look, otherwise, these players stay at Ajax to the age they're ready to move on and go and play first-team football elsewhere. If they were then, say, for instance, you picked a very young player at 17 um, at Ajax now, and he was going to come into your first team. Well, I'd say that. You were going to buy him into your team, but he wasn't going to play first-team football. I as a coach. They're educated as well, the kids. They understand... And when they leave Ajax... You mean educated in the football sense? In a football, sense, in the yeah, world in a football sense. sense. They understand that when they do leave Ajax, that's when they go to, um, like Ericsson, like he did when he went to Spurs, he goes straight into the first team. He's straight into playing week in, week out. Otherwise, he'll just stay there at Ajax. I don't think it's a matter of age, uh, because two examples. Uh, Nicolas Benter, who went to Arsenal at a really young age, and you have a Fabregas as well who went to us another very young age. Both on good contracts early on, both opportunities to play. But then if you have the right mentality like Cesc did, you go on and do your, your career like he did. Unbelievable. That could be the easy one. You earn a lot of money and you don't work so hard and your hardworking mentality is not there. And you let yourself down and you don't do the career you, you were supposed to have. So. I think it's all about um, your mentality and what you... 82 years, 282 days. The captain, Davy Claston, just 24. He's so Mateus the light there. 17 years old. The youngest player to take part in a European final. Tremendous. Yeah, impressed by the goalkeeper for performance. Sanchez also was really good. I was impressed with the pace, obviously. Um, some nervy moments. But against Rashford, I think he's he's done really well. So Devinson Sanchez, five minutes before the end away, he caught up with uh, with, it was, uh, with Lingard. Hill. Let's meet John Tony Jones. So Sir Alec Ferguson, the ultimate European winner with Manchester United, and indeed with Aberdeen before that. Michael Carrick didn't get on the pitch, but he is now the oldest winner of a Europa League at the age of 35. Carrick rewarded with a new deal. Who knows what lies in store for Wayne Rooney. Base from Ed Woodward from, for Jose Mourinho. Words with UEFA president. Big smile on the face of Zlatan Ibrimovic. No Stockholm finale for the Swedish international. Words from Edwin van der Sar for Daily Blint. He won four Eredivisie with Ajax before joining Manchester United. Ajax is in his DNA. His father having enjoyed European success with the club as well. Images to remember what has been a wonderful night for Manchester United. Hands on silverware yet again.
And Mikitarian gets congratulations, his second goal, making the job that much easier for Manchester United after Paul Pogba had given them that early lift. Soon they get the chance to lift the trophy. And as you mentioned, David, it is Wayne Rooney has collected the captain's armband off Antonio Valencia. Rooney just wiping his hands. They're ready to lift the trophy. Champions in Europe again. And for the first time ever, UEFA Europa League champions. It's Rooney who raises the trophy. Manchester United are UEFA Europa League winners 2017. A night of joy for Manchester United at the end of what has been a very difficult week for the city of Manchester. Manchester United in so many ways, whether it be the blue or the red half of the city, given events on Monday. But now something to look forward to and to celebrate. A win in a major European competition and a place in next season's UEFA Champions League. Manchester United, UEFA Europa League winners 2017. It has been a joyous occasion in Stockholm. And from David Pleat and myself, Tony Jones, it's good night and goodbye. Our thanks to David Pleat and Tony Jones. Plenty more, though, here in the BN Sports studio from Craig Bellamy and Mikel Silvest. You know how this feels, Mikel. A Champions League winner back in 2008. The first time they listed that trophy. Is that farewell from Wayne Rooney? Could be. You never know. But, uh, yeah, the playing time for Wayne is diminishes uh, every time so it would be difficult for, for him to, to stay and, uh, and sit back and yeah, not being involved um, unless there is a, a major change uh, but when the body is telling you that you're not the quickest anymore there's hardly anything you can you can do about it it's in good shape he would he would be playing with the Rashford and Ibrahimovic and they will share the the playing time, but that's not the case because uh, he doesn't have the legs anymore and the manager doesn't trust him to, uh, to play in front of the defence. And I don't think Wayne can, can uh, reinvent himself like uh, Ryan Giggs did. So um, it's either move on or, or die slowly at United, but um, maybe he could be on his way and find a new challenge to, to enjoy the last few years of his career. What about him, Zlatan Ibrahimovic? Will we see him in red next season? Um, well, he's going to be out for a number of months at the start of the season. Um, say, for instance, he did sign another contract with Manchester United. We probably won't see him now to maybe December, January. Um, it's a lot of wages to pay for four or five months of outplaying. Um, I'm not too no. sure. I'm not too sure. I can't see it. He'll always be a, a folk hero with the, the Manchester United fans. How... How disappointed would he be to have missed tonight's final? Oh, he'd be, he'd be, yeah, he'd, the, the final was set up for him. As soon as Manchester United were, were targeting the Europa League, like I said earlier, because it was their best opportunity for me to get into the Champions League. Um, the final then being in Sweden, uh, he is the king of Sweden. So it was all set up for him. But, as you know, there's a lot of romance in football, but sometimes it can be very harsh as well. And it's... Um, it's, a, it's, it's cruel that he wasn't there tonight. Where do you see Manchester United going now, Mikel? I see them going uh, strong and hard on the market because if we want to see a different Manchester United on the front foot, dominating games and, and winning trophies, um, the team needs another four signings, I think, to improve the squad dramatically. Um, and it's uh, yeah, it's it's a good sign because I mean the the money will be there. Well, they already have the world's most expensive player, and we can hear from Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba, Paul. First of all, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. How does it feel? It's long season. How does it feel finally being the champions of Europa League? Season for us difficult. Um, 
we didn't want we wanted this result we wanted to win the Europa League like people criticize us and we did we did what we wanted the objective want uh, was to win the Europa League and today we did it so I'm proud with the team I'm very proud for, of myself and let's go to Champions League now Paul what makes this group so special I mean I mean as you can see these yes, yes, young players these old players we can play together that's what we did today the performance was was a team was a family today and the result came by himself so we're happy speaking of family Paul it's been a tough couple of weeks for you your father passing away w where do you find the strength I mean my dad would never let me be sad he taught me how to play football he trained me with my brothers today the victory is for him it's for the people in Manchester too so I did the to him for the for those people okay, congratulations Delighted Paul Pogba, first major trophy then back at Manchester United.